going to demonstrate how you install memory in a hard drive in an Apple MacBook. It's a pretty simple procedure. First thing you need to do is you need to turn your MacBook over onto its top and place it on a very nice soft work surface. This is a microfiber towel that I'm using here. You need to remove the battery. And to do that, you need a coin or a large straight screwdriver. A coin works really good. That's what Apple designed it to be used with. Take the battery out. That exposes the battery bay. Once you have the battery bay open, you need to actually remove this little L-shaped door. And Apple provides instructions right here on the right side showing you how to do so. There's three Phillips screws that you need to remove. And those are Phillips P0 screws. They're quite small. If you don't own a Phillips P0 screwdriver, newer technology makes a seven-piece Apple toolkit that includes all the screwdrivers that you'll need shown here today to remove the memory and the hard drive. So all you have to do is unscrew those screws and gently pull on the screw heads and you'll take out that L-shaped bracket, exposing the two memory bays, and then over here on the left side you'll see that that's where the hard drive's at. I'm going to start by changing the memory. All you need to do is use these little flip devices that Apple has installed to pop the memory out. And the left side bay, there it goes, comes out a little bit harder on this unit for some reason. Just don't force the lever too hard. I've taken out the stock 256 meg memory chips and I'm going to install 2 gigs of memory in the form of two 1 gig chips from Otherworld Computing. Slide those modules into the bay as shown here and using your thumbs, press the modules into the slots fully. It takes a little bit of force. Okay, memory's installed. You could close the machine up now if you wanted to continue on and not install your new hard drive. All you have to do to remove the hard drive, though, is very simple. On the left side, you'll see there's a little tab. Grab a hold of that tab, and you've just pulled out the hard drive. And here I've just removed the factory stock 5400 RPM Fujitsu hard drive. You can replace that with a high-performance 7200 RPM drive from Hitachi. We also offer large mechanisms from Seagate and Western Digital for these units. They're 5400 RPM. I'm sure there'll be more in the future. Simply unscrew those four screws, take off the bracket, and take your new drive. And here's the Hitachi Travel Star I'm going to put in. With the ports facing inside, set the bracket onto the drive, reinsert the screws through the bracket, I've just found one of the magnets that Apple uses to close the lid on the MacBook. There it goes. And you'll notice the screws are a Torx T8. These are uh, a little bit more difficult to get in. They don't want to hold themselves into the head of the screwdriver very well. and insert the last screw. Turn the unit over, slide it into the battery bay, and it goes right back in where it came from, and tuck the little tab back in place for next time. Take the L-shaped bracket. The L-shaped bracket, as you notice right here at the end, has uh, an EMI RFI strip. These need to go down into the battery bay, and placing them in, I usually use the Phillips screwdriver, and just help close it just like I've shown here. Get them to tuck in all the way. Make sure they're in place before you try to put the screws in. Start with the unscrew here. Tighten those three Phillips screws. Insert the battery, and using this, the nickel, lock the battery in place. You're all set. That's all it takes to change memory or add a new hard drive to your MacBook.